We begin with CBS News Miami's Anna McAllister. She's live in Opelika where residents are now dealing with flooding on top of a long list of other issues. Lauren Elliott, right now we are at the Glorietta Gardens Apartments in Opelika. The flooding is tremendous. Just take a look behind me. It is like a lake in this complex. People were running up to me when I first got here. One woman, she was in tears. She tells us that the flooding forced her to leave her home. She had to stay in her car last night, and she says the complex and the city aren't offering any help. For the residents of Glorietta Gardens in Opelika, it's one thing after another. This is how we got to live. Tenants of the apartment complex have a long history of dealing with mold, mildew, animals, and plumbing issues in their units. And now they're dealing with severe flooding. Eight inches of water just to get to my house. And then it's snakes, it's um, crabs, I don't even know what it is. It's frogs, it's all type of animals in here. This week's downpours have left a majority of the complex underwater. Yolanda Stevens has lived here for more than 20 years. She's dealt with problem after problem. Now her home is inundated with water and most of her family's belongings are destroyed. I've been crying for two days. I don't even know how to feel. I just don't know that I know that this is not healthy and it's not livable for me. Stephen says the water in her first floor apartment is making the already dangerous living conditions, including mold, even worse for her family. And she's not the only resident suffering. Here's my hands with the blisters from pulling out water, and I'm not done. Ebet Lopez also lives on a first floor apartment and says the water has been seeping into her home over the last two days. It's never ending. The water just kept coming in, and then every time a car would come by, brings the water right back into us. Both Lopez and Steven say they've reached out to the property management and the city countless times, but say their concerns fall on deaf ears. We always go into the rent office and they just leave us just like this. No help. Nobody ain't trying to help us. And when asked about the flooding situation here in Glorietta Gardens, interim city manager Darvin Williams had this to say in part, the city of Opelika does require the support of the county on this issue. The severity of the flooding far surpasses the capacity of our public works department to address this single-handedly. Accordingly, we have reached out to the county earlier today seeking assistance. At a minimum, we are requesting the support of VAC trucks to aid us in removing the water from the complex and into the canal. Our residents tell us they're going to continue to ask for help from this uh, building management and from the city of Opelika as well as from the county. But for now, reporting live from Opelika, Adam McAllister, CBS News, Miami.